I'm back everybody. Today I have another unboxing of a very unusual kit. I think it looks cool. It's a Pandora box made from Oshima and it's a Copan it's a Copan type Evo 2. Copan Pandora Evo 2. It looks a cute little thing. Now I had a look in the box here earlier and it's about the same size as the Honda V that I done. So there is a small kit, like a small car, but it's 125 far scale. But as you can see there by the box, you can do it like as the anti roll bars and all that you get in the MX5s and to kill a little car. Now I've never seen one in person in real life. They're obviously a popular little car in Japan, so that's the kit anyway, a Pandora. Copen Pandora type eight eight seven evil two. So first of all the manual with all the parts. The one thing I have to say is it's the four set of Ricardo seats I've gotten with the Ricardo engraved into them, which is cool. And these are them now, these are the stock seats, but you get a set of seats now, I'll show you in two minutes. These are the stock ones, the coping seats with the standard steering wheel. That was in the first wheel bag. The second wheel bag. Parts piece is the suspension, the discs, the brakes. The um, subframe, the exhaust, and yeah, the front sub as well, and the aerial. You can see it's a small kit, so, but there's a lot of stuff in it. For a small kit, there's a lot of stuff in the kit. Like, these are the back lights, lenses, molded in red, clear. Which is always a, a good thing when it's molded in the colour that it should be rather than having to paint. But there's the body without the bumpers. There's barely any mole lines on it at all, really, to be honest. Everything seems like. What's there? It's supposed to be there. So, it's a great little kit, I think. There's the chassis. Not many parts molded into this either, because you get everything for it. Bar the engine. That's the underneath, obviously, of the engine. And the tank. So that's 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 that one. Next bag is the front bumper. Now I think you get two front bumpers and two back bumpers. I'm sure you do know, but this is either the front and back, or I don't know. We call it. Could be actually something different, <laughs> to be honest. But um, there's the side skirts. Nice old kit. Spoilers. It's the center of the back bumper. So look at the fuse apart. Of that bumper up the top, I'm thinking. And that one underneath it is the front bumper. 
So it's a cool little kit. If you if you can come across it, and you you're into building them, I'd advise you to get the kit because there is a cool kit. That the door cards are nicely detailed, as you can see. Speakers and the little door pockets and door handles and locks are nicely detailed. There's the handbrake, the mirror, the radio, steering column, registration plates, and that tiny little centre piece up there. I think is the is here. Number 14, I think that's a, like, a heads up display, a, a, dis a screen navigator, like, or DVD player, TV, you know, like, car radio type thing. But there's the cockpit and the parcel shelf. So, now we're back. Another part of the kit it is the front and back bumpers, the stock ones, I think. The window shroud there for the uh, window wipers, the mirrors, and we have the, the back ends of the headlight. And the back lights in chrome and the center of the exhausts, the mirrors, then the anti roll bar. For when you have it as a convertible in chrome, exhaust tips in chrome, and we have the shifter is in chrome. And then there's another shift of stick, it's crown. A cool little kit, honestly, it really is. There's the little skinny tires. Now, I don't know if they're branded or not, but they have got detail in like treading. There's a bit of flashing on them as well, though. All the air, sorry, the air, as you can see now the name coming through is focusing, Midland, I think the air, that's, a, that's the tires with the poly caps, and then the wheels as you can see on the box are painted black. There they are in pure chrome. I thought, I honestly thought they would have given two sets of wheels with this car. But I haven't seen a second set. But these ones are nice. They are nice. But I have a little small set of tears that I'll go on to it. They came with the, the Honda B. Or I have the mini lights as well that come with the mini and the Honda B as spares. There's the clears. I won't take them out. But they have the decals. You can see them in the background. Floor mats and seats. Registrations. Uh, window stickers. Also ships like then we have to win the mask and as well so for the euro kit lads definitely definitely if you're into making them there's another set of buckets for either the headlights or the backlights the backends 
here's the kills he first mentioned with the Ricardo engraved into the C headrest. You see them? That is the first time I've ever gotten a set of seats with the sponsorship name of the seat engraved into them. You usually just get the sticker. But there's the steering wheel that comes with them seats. Which is definitely what I'm going to be using. Um, it comes only in right hand drive. Being from Japan. And then with me being Irish as well. That's what you get over here. So this suits me fine. Right hand drive. And centre console. Window wipers. Here as well. And we have, I think they're supposed to be like part of a cage or something, or no. When it's a convertible, in case you turn into a race car type thing, the excess here is supposed to be something to do with like crash bars for the inside of the car, I'm thinking. Not really sure. There's the front sub frame that holds everything together, the steering rack, and then the wheel prongs, like the pegs and spacers. Oh, the last piece to fill out on the bags earlier is just these clears. I don't know if the, the, the little ones, side repeaters and spotlights and the square ones, I don't know what they're off, could be the, I don't know, I couldn't even answer what they could be, <laughs> because everything looks round to me, the headlights look round to me, so, and the backlights, pure round, so they might be just spotlights or something. But that's the whole kit in itself, as I said, well worth the price, 40 euros over here now in my local Marks Models, is the name of the company, I buy my models out every week, I buy a number of models, I still, I buy models and I unbox them before I've unboxed ones I have sitting there in months. I see them under the thing over there under the TV. The 180SX, the EP3, the Evo X Rally Art, the BMW Alpine 323i. Then on the other side I have the Aoshima, the wide body LB Works uh, Skyline 2000 and then another Skyline it's another early Skyline then I have a Toyota Supra Castrol version and then I have a plain Toyota Supra and I also have a Ravel Ford Shelby GT 350 I have a Mazda RX-7 and the limited edition, uh, limited black A86 Corolla. The original limited with the gold wheels, gold frame. So yeah, please like, comment and subscribe if you'd like to see any more videos. I am um, I don't get many views, I haven't got many subscribers. I get the odd comment here and there saying that, that I do deserve them. I don't know if I do, but if I help anybody in making decisions and buying good kits by doing these, well, that's really what I'm up to. 
that's what I do it to show off the kids and what's in them before someone decides to get one, whether they're worth buying or not. But, um, I'd like to make YouTube into something like something I could, um, keep up, you know, like get better at. I know I should do builds. So, if I start getting subscribers and likes and whatever, I will up my game with a little setup. In a little room, camera, everything else, so it's not wobbly like this. Make me phone. I'm sorry for just waffling on here, and sorry about that for my annoyance, but have a nice day and happy new year to everybody out there. I hope you all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.